keying the wall, which is the process of rubbing a wall with grit light sandpaper, is actually quite important as it removes the little bits of sand light -like grit or splashes of paint from the wall surface. Whilst a wall may look smooth to the eye, these minuscule blemishes will show themselves as much larger lumps once the paper has been applied to the wall and dried out. The reason we tend not to see them on first hanging the paper is because the tiny bits of grit is camouflaged by the layer of adhesive sandwiched between the paper and the wall. It's not until the adhesive dries out and the paper is pulled tight against the wall that it'll show. And it's this that we see as a magnified blemish. So now we have beautifully smooth walls. So now we have to think about the time-honoured practice of sizing a wall. Sizing is an historic practice of taking a heavily diluted wallpaper adhesive and applying it to the wall prior to our lining paper or wallpaper being hung. Traditionally, sizing was done simply to take the porosity out of a wall because in days gone by, all walls were thick heavy layers of plaster which was particularly porous. So looking at it logically, if a wall has been previously wallpapered, or if it's been painted with emulsion, these chambers must already be full. Assuming this to be the case, this weak layer of size adhesive will simply lie on the wall surface, acting like a thin layer of grease, which becomes a hindrance rather than a help, as it stops the much stronger adhesive that's on the back of the wallpaper from doing its job. Additionally, the old practice of painting a wall with an emulsion, which acted in a similar way as the size, is now also to be discouraged. Modern paints, including emulsions, which were traditionally chalk-based, now have vinyl polymers in them, which are specifically designed to make the paint washable. The purpose of these polymers is to stop anything sticking to the wall, which is, of course, exactly what we are trying to do with our wallpaper adhesive. Where a wall is painted, then heavy sanding is recommended to create a key for the adhesive to lock into.